Hopefully, if we don't get caught for the rest of the winter, that's me. If we don't get caught for the rest of the winter, it might get, get its scales back and stuff. Joking. The trouble is, we're shooting against the sun, Dave. Be the magic fish, Clark. Is it not? Or not? <laughs> nice fish, isn't it, Clark? Yeah. That's just nice, that is. Oh, 
nice out of these gloves, the way they should be hooked, isn't it? Very long fish, though. No, uh, it just hasn't got the weight there. That's about 18, isn't it? What? How close is that to 20? Go on. Right, at Stamford Res. And what swim would this be, Clive? Sort of car park, suck bank. Probably two or three hundred yards up towards a pole tax swim. <laughs> and we're uh, got a 20 pound four ounce pike. It's my first 20 on the water. On a whole mackerel. Sometime around midday, approaching midday. And it's a beautiful, stunning December day. It's gorgeous. I had a, had a small jack about nine o'clock. That was jack, not jerk. Uh, Steve's had a 16, so it's not bad. It's Clive's turn next. And we get this girl back. Well chuff with that. Well chuff with that. Okay. I don't think it's long pod, do you? No, I didn't think so. It's not a long pod, is it? I don't know, it's fairly long when you put it in my net. That's he's okay, so. Yeah. Well, quarter past nine. Clive's had a take off a. Was that a whole herring, Clive? Yeah, whole herring, that was massive herring. Whole herring. Just a. Uh, drop take. And the other one's going there. Alright, I've got the trance, man. Good fish. And the uh, other rod's gone. What a fabulous fish. Wait a minute. Delta. Is it a run, Clive? Yeah, cracker mate, that is. Well done. Yeah, that's a nice fish that is, isn't it? That's hot. That's Long as well that is, Clive. Typical Stanford fish that is. Long and, but that's... I'll be surprised if that's not 23 plus. Pound. That must be the fish I had then, Clive dropped a couple of ounces. Just under 20, innit? Just under. Let's try again, because that weighed 1914. It's 19. 1914, Dave. 1914, yeah. Alright, so. Whether this is the same fish we caught last week, I don't know, but it's um, it's a 19 pounds, 14. 14 ounce fish, and it's absolutely immaculate. Took a whole herring at quarter past nine in the morning, it's a Saturday morning. Very, very cold day. Not much above freezing. Frosty start to the morning, and look at that, it's one for the future. Stunning, stunning fish. And. Uh, Oh, we should be able to tell on the video footage whether it is the same fish. It might not be, but hopefully it's not the same fish. It means another decent fish for Stanford. But we're about to put it back now. And hopefully we'll catch another fish a bit bigger by the end of the day. Okay then. Yeah. I think it's so, Clive. All, all them big nines barbel I've had, some of them were tens. Well done, mate. There he goes. Well, back at Stanford Res, I've been fishing.
probably about three or four hundred yards from the car park swim for, till about one o'clock. Nothing, nothing happening, so I thought I'd move down further towards the uh, the river and uh, straight away on a paternoster sardine I've had an 18 pound 4 ounce fish a lovely fish it's quite fat a good time of the year to catch them because they're just starting to pile their weight on actually fought quite well so here she is I she can get her out I'm not going to photograph her because I'm on my own just a little bit of video footage and straight back Look at that, isn't that lovely? 18 pounds, four ounce Stamford Res Pike. There you go. 18 pounds. Another one bites of dust. Getting there, aren't we? Hey, what a cracker. Hey, look at that. Simplicity itself, five minutes in the water, bang. Clean fish. Don't want to get any slime on me, that's for sure. Oh. Maxi goes, look at that. Hey, hey Max in with the pikey. <coughs> Is there a sound on that though? Yeah, don't matter, you make say anything no, you like. No, no. Oh, it's running all the while. Right, Stanford Res, got a £22 pike here. A very, very long fish. Fought ever so well for this time of year. Any time I ain't brought me a bloody knock him out, innit? Take your watch off for case you catch. Yes, I damage it. Yeah. More so with my camera. I thought it was you. You've got to run. Making the hissy sound. It's clean, isn't it? He don't want to be picked up just yet, does he? How many do you want taken? Yeah, quite a few. I don't catch many of this size. Tell me if I need to do anything to it. Take a few just in case you don't come out. <coughs> turn it round. That's it, behave yourself now. You go straight back then. Skinny, isn't it? For this time of year. That should be about 24. Yeah, well, after Christmas it will be. Yeah. So got, got any bits on it? Or was that right? Yeah, sure.
look alright. Mm. <laughs> Probably got your head knocked off, but head's missing off the pike and the tail, but alright. Pounds. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> you are again, so you want to tell you not. you No. Oh, I've got to go. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Oh, got, got, can't find the wide angle on here. Might be small, but it's a what a day to catch it. That snow is going to come down really heavy. Go on. Yeah. Double. Uh, took a whole mackerel. What's that about 11 to 12 pounds, isn't it? Pretty though, isn't it? That one, really good condition. Oh, let's put it back. Back where she belongs, we don't want to eat you, do we? That water is freezing. Yep, we're on. Alright, at Boddington. A little bit of blood on there, but that'll be alright. 15 pounds, 12 ounce, 
pipe, first pipe on the water. And we're going to put this girl straight back. Jamie Shod. <laughs> That's a lovely fish. There she goes. You can see the, the, the weight of them fish. Impressive, aren't they? Oh, beautiful. I'm trying to find the zoom. But, Just yeah. press the red button there. Let's stop it there, Yeah, go on there. Oh. You done, mate, you're right. Is that bigger than your 24? Um, about the same size. About the same. It might be the same fish, actually. I don't know, it's pretty, yeah, it's quite big, that. It is, isn't it? It doesn't feel really heavy, though, you know what I mean? It's not big, Yeah, because it's be juvenile now, isn't it? Don't worry about the net, it's only 13 quid. <laughs> you can say whatever you like on the video, but just talk away and... He's just a jammy sod. <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm not speaking, just don't let it slip away. Do us a favour if any anglers ask you, we haven't caught this. <laughs> You're getting onslaught of anglers coming from that end of the lake to here. <laughs> well, of course, they always follow you around. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's the last thing you want. Sorry? Was it way or you just I'm, I'm like ready yet. But if I really appreciate it if you don't tell the other anglers. No, I won't. No, no, no. It's just unusual to see anyone catching you. Yeah, especially me. Gorgeous fish in there, the colouring's lovely. Big fish in it, Chris. Yeah. I ain't gonna photograph this fish yet, I'm gonna weigh it and. Or put it in the sack for a bit. Yeah. Is there anywhere safe to put it so it doesn't get damaged? Um, not really, just, well, just put it into the deep right. water. Here goes. Come on then, let's see the scales. Sure, 24. 24 on the nose. Is it? Short fish. Yeah. Yeah, 24. It's your fish, Chris. <laughs> 24. Yeah. It's definitely your fish, Chris. Yeah, it is. Same way. Well, I think it is. Well, that's right. I, I caught it my second time. <laughs> Come Look at that. It's a beast. Definitely your fish, isn't it? Mm. Well, it means you handled it well. Yeah. Oh, Peach. 24 pounds on the nose. Hasn't gained any weight since Chris had it. If it's the same one. It probably is. Gotta be in it. I don't know. Watch off for that. It's nice. <laughs> Get in. Go home now, Matt. You haven't got to come back now. I've had yeah. three this year. Yeah. Ooh. I've had my target, didn't I? That's it. A bit worried about there. Uh, I've got my bait on the float uh, out there somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm not going to keep him long. I'm just going to have a cup of coffee. Get in. Yeah. That could be fatter actually, it could get bigger. It's not as big as it could be. There's a little batch there's a little yellow square flashing, what's that mean? Eh? Hey? Little yellow square flashing. Oh, I don't know. Just turn it off and do it. Was 
it recording, did they? Yep, there we go. Slip the big girl back. This fish, this fish is called Chris. Careful, Matt. Bailey don't know the weights of his fist, does he? No. <laughs> she's alright. That water is so, so cold. It takes your breath away. And yeah, she's gone. That's good. I hope she doesn't get caught for a bit. Big smile, Matt. Eee! Cheers, mate. <laughs> Just try my hands off and it's all. It's a bit cold out here, so I'm at Stanford Res. I think it's uh, time to go in the van, get ourselves all warmed up, get that kettle on. Uh, got one on this cold day, February day. Here comes Lucy in the background here, sitting inside my van. Got a tag. Looks like a low double, full of leeches. And we're going to knock him, put him back. Right, back at Napton. Napton Rears. We've got. Lights on. Napton Res just had an 18 and a half pound sort of fully scaled mirror. And I've had to go in. It's middle of April and it's the water temperature's coldest I've ever coldest I've ever had to swim in. And I've nearly got a stitch with swimming. That's one of the fully scales we were talking about, isn't it? Yeah, that is. That's a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah. That's that fish I had that night, Terry. Isn't it strange how we were just talking about this fish? It is that fish. That's locked, locked, locked up, that is. Do you want me to hit it? That's what we wear, Dave. The carpet would be away, wouldn't it? Not necessarily, if it's that close to the roots. <laughs> see it, okay. Can't see. Dave, hold a minute. That's better. Don't seem very clear though. This is that blurred vision I've got in the eye. Yeah, you film over it. No, don't seem very clear. Have you actually took a picture? Not yet. Can you see the picture through that? Mm -hmm. Open it out, class. At least you know you've got a picture. Then. Is that my fucking blue eye or what? You should be able to see it through both of them. It's focusing, Dave, but it just seems blurred. When you take the picture, just turn it around and show me the picture. Oops. Oh, sorry. It just seems. That's all right. Let's go back to the menu. Go on, you roll that there. It's my eye. I've got blurred vision. It. I don't know what I've done there. I'm gonna go again. He ain't fought, you see. Can't see. That eye. Fucking hell. That's gonna go. Bastard. He's back. 
Just do it. It'll keep still. Oh, you bastard. I got it. That's clear, Dave. It's just my eye. me that, is it? Oh, you bastard fish. Oh, slow speed that is Dave. Is it? Is it look alright though the picture? Yeah it looks alright but it's slow speed. Let's have a go with this one. Why oh, is it slow? Might be the battery guys. Your hat's in the way of the flash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on, go on. Go on, stand up. That's better. What's that? Go on, give us the go on, say, say, go on, tell me. Say yes, go on. Steep there. Smash, tell me. Hold on, same as mine, isn't it? It's got to be. No, you just press, turn that that way and you see it. What, that way there? <laughs> that, which way, Dave? Alright, Stanford, 11, 11 o'clock. Just cut myself out of swim yesterday. Clive's just turned up. And uh, I've had a 26 pounder and it's a peach on a pattern of roach. And it is a peach and all. Let's get this off down the deck, is it? Damages a lot of fish from watches, doesn't it? Rings and watches do, yeah. Oh, that's a peach, isn't it, Dave? Hold on a minute, see something there. Look, you're leaving over that fish again. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's a beauty, Dave. That is, isn't it? It's like one of the old Stamford Port, that is. It's not, it's like one of the new ones. Oh, it's be beautiful. <laughs> I can go two more pounds by the end of the year. You've got your shadow all over it. I know, I know, Dad, I'll see you. Turn his tail towards him, that's it, Dave. He's a bit overexposed, that's something. Mm. Still a bit cloudy, isn't it? Do 
flesh on you the day, but because uh, that sunlight. I'm going to look for the view for one again. Just hold it. Can you just hold it in its in its jaw there, Nat? And just yeah, like that, Dave. Just destroyed it like that. You just sit destroyed it like that. And just hold it like that. Knees knees close together. Oh, like that. that that's it. You've got it. Just well, in terms of it, was all right on that matting. It. It's cold weather as well. Do, do I actually want it on the floor a bit, or? Yeah, come a bit closer, Dave. 26 pounds. That's it. Does that look right, yeah? 26 pounds. An absolute beautiful peach of a fish, that is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh. That will be a 30. Yeah. Should we press the red button and, uh, on, the, on there and. Uh, press that red button. That finished recording? Yeah. Dave, that is an absolute Brahma. Uh, back at Stamford, I've had a few upper doubles the last couple of days. I haven't been videoing them. I've had, I think, about two or three 15s, 16s. I've just had a, a 16 and three quarter. I had a 16 pounder a couple of hours ago, 12 pounder, and getting loads of doubles. But I just thought I'd show one to the camera because they're such fantastic fish. Just look at that, and that peach, eh? 16 and a half pounds, Stamford, Res Pike. So that's four doubles and a single today, so that's pretty good. My uh, friend's been fishing with live baits next to me, he hasn't been catching anything. They're definitely taking dead baits at the moment, the water's a bit coloured. Isn't that lovely? Eh? I'm going to put her back now. It's just getting dark, so just time to pack up and go home and have some tea. <clears throat> well, been having a few pike. Again, I've, I've had one just under 16 pounds, not quite big enough to photograph, but uh, uh, good enough for the video. I'm gonna show it to the video and then put it straight back. Shy of 16 pounds. Back she goes. You actually want to in the back, do you? No, I'll, I'll pick him up. <laughs> For the for the video, this is 23 pound eight ounces. 
So they tagged or? No, you just have like the size and the, right. and the scale patterns and stuff. It's quite a big fish in it. Mm. Nice set of teeth. Yeah, they're quite harmless though. They're docile. If anything, they've got, got to be ever so gentle with them. Oh, Any wildlife, I've isn't lost it? The image now. I just. Uh, if you. pounds, 8 ounce pike, and we're going to put him back for her so she can swim off. You can see the shoulders are really stocky, and the rest of it's no weight, this should be about 25, 26. Right. It's because the water's been coloured, they, they can't find their food, so it's a bit, a bit empty. Stay there, a bit sluggish at this time. Yeah. Mm. Right, there you go, back she goes. Not the worst, hopefully. Well, I'm at Stanford, I've had five doubles and a single so far today and I've just had an 18 and a half pounder I'm just filming, I've got a camera set up in the van at the moment it looks like a 20, should be a 20 pounder but it's not, it's a long skinny fish but a stunning fish, one of the young fish after you know after the fish kill so I'll just get, let's get it for you let's take a look at that and that's stunning. 18 and a half pounds, Stanford fish. Hey, look at that. Hey. Hey, 18 and a half pounds. Lovely fish, absolutely stunning fish. and a half pounds the one I tried to film earlier but I thought I'd take a photograph of it so beautiful fish back she goes well I've just had one of my best ever days pike fishing I've had a single figure fish and seven really good doubles, 13s, 15s, 16s, 18s, it's been a fantastic day, I've had a, over a hundred pounder pike today, and I'll just have this 16 and a half pounder as I'm packing up, 
lovely fish. Look at that. Look at that for one to go home with. Okay. 16 and a half pounds. I'll say I've had 11, 11, 12, 2 13s, 15, 16, and 18. Fabulous fishing. Fabulous fishing. Jacket, yeah, that's what they call barking deers. There you go. Don't worry, it's live bait on there. Oh, you got some live baits? It's not a bit rotten there. <laughs> it's got a bit old for this spot, it's got home, I say. Nobody'll know what it is anyway. <laughs> on Coventry, they don't know anything. Sounds like an old tug, doesn't it? How many fish you catch when you, as soon as you drop them off the boat? I I don't catch that many. But then again, I don't use my boat that often, do no, I? That's what I'm saying. But you know, I've had loads of runs. You know what I mean? When you just drop drop it straight off the back of the boat, and I've had. I fished over there the other day. Did you? Yeah. I'm no good. I had a jack, and I I had a take off a good fish because it was it was the mackerel was completely munched up. Yeah, I was over there on Tuesday. I didn't get fish. I mean, them somebody just get out over there, but they didn't get fish at all over there. It hadn't been fish for ages because I had to move a log to get through it. I'm not paying extra ten or eight or whatever, like you know what I mean. I don't mind paying up to 150 bloody quid a year. I don't. That's but... yeah, a good exclusive fishing, isn't it? At the end of the day. Looking at a lot carp, are they? Small and neglect. Definitely. They don't like mishandled, do they? Because no. he's on that pretty fine settings all the time, don't he? <coughs> Already baited up. <laughs> I think that's a take, Steve. Floats up. Is it? Yeah. What do you think? It's just a lively live bait? It's not very lively because it's. Um... You got one? I've got a fish here. It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good fish. That's 20 that is, Steve. That's that, that's that 23. Good fish. It's a fish though. Hey, look at that. That is not more fish here. It's a good double though, isn't it? That's not more fish, look. Well I don't done. think that's more fish there. Here he is. Biscuits. Richard Walker's older brother, <laughs> Tell. Tim Biscuit. Nice fish, isn't it, Tell? Pardon? Nice fish, isn't it? Yeah, if it's fucking dead, it'd be nice. <laughs> Just set a two pound fucking roach, I know. That's why it's got a big belly. 16 pound, 12 ounces. Yeah. 
Nice though. What was the weight, Steve? 1612. Stunning fish, though. Little red dot in its head there, look. Maybe it's a uh, muslin. <laughs> <laughs> Probably loaded full of bombs. <laughs> Yeah, so that's well, so one of definitely one of the nicest fish I've seen in here. On a live bait. Yeah. Was that a, a, a hybrid roach bream a, thing? A two pound pure roach. Pure roach. <laughs> yeah, two penny though they are, aren't they? Two penny. Yeah, a while, they? Hey? Yeah, they got me the same ones, in there. No, what they catch them roach down in the field. Yeah, yeah. lovely that. That's a little fatty. Guess it's not twice the size. Yeah, twice the size would be about bang on, wouldn't it? It'd be about perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's no roach in here, all these bloody pike are Hey. Eh? Lovely. Steve's into his second fish of the day. Huh? This one's on a, a mackerel, he's boated out to the other side. Log with Jesus. fins. Breathtaking action. <laughs> Look at it go. Two nil to Steve. Huh? That's not a bad fish, that. Perfectly. Mm. I bet you can't wait. That's, that's what I've done with that. I'm going to have a, a guesstimate £12.4 12 ounces. Two drop takes as well. Thirteen eight. Thirteen and a half, eh? Yeah. I believe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thirteen eight, nice fish. Just over, in fact, thirteen ten if anything. Well, back at Stanford, I've just had another scrape of twenty, just over twenty pound, a couple of ounces over. Skinny fish, the water's quite coloured. Um, they should be a lot heavier than they are. They're not carrying spawn, so they really should be a lot heavier than they are. I started off on the damn wall. Easterly wind blowing in my face, really cold. Come down here around the lake. And uh, I've had one jackpot this morning. I've just had this one at 3 o'clock. And uh, so the lake was frozen last weekend, and the water is like ice, so it's, it's bitterly cold, so you're not going to get a lot of runs. But a welcome fish, nevertheless. I'm just going to show it to the camera and put it back. of dust. I say quite skinny for this time of year. Lovely fish. fish. So it's about 20 pound two ounces. Let's get back here. Yeah, that'll do me. Halfway through February. That's about 20th of February, something like that. 2007. Yeah, that'll do nicely. 
she's going to get back in the water now. Whoa. Yeah, seven, 17 pound four pike. Oops, it. 17 pound four Stanford Reservoir pike. Absolutely as fat as a pig. Got the markings, a lovely Dave. Oh, nice. That's the nicest Stanford fish I've ever caught for luck, so he's a lovely fish. A lovely, lovely fish. So I'll put him back. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful fish that is, Dave. If we just hold it there, I'll take another shot of that picture. Turn, turn the, t turn it to the. That's it. That's it. Come on, if you do that. Yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Looks nice on here, Dave. Move the tail around a bit. Fuck it, I'm only pressing the fucking button now. Flash them up, right? This is a flash, we're in the picture. Look alright. Yeah. Quality, I'll get back, I'll get it fucking back to the boys. Is that fucking good sorted out now? I'll do it in a second, I'll do it. It'll be good for me, isn't it? It'll be alright, trust me. Huh? It doesn't have a chance to get it back in because it's been in the, in the sling, but it'll be alright. Um, Looks like some alpha stuck in there, isn't it? No, it's just this. Uh, I'll tell you what I could do with a bag stick because I'm just push it right down. Or something soft or down the core. Okay. Well, here we have Chris, a sidewell reservoir. He's had a 21 pound 8 ounce immaculate pike on a large crucian live bait. Fat nostrils about 30 yards out. One. And uh, he's broke. He's broke. Hold on. I haven't really seen it. He's brother had a 22.10 from here a few weeks back. They've done exceptionally well. I'm fishing next to him, I've had bugger all, as usual. So he's done well. Slide it back. Say what it is and what turn yeah, it on. And... I'm recording anyway. Okay. Right, we've got a 25 pound fully scaled, a fish I've been after for since I don't know when, since the year dot. I've just nicked its gill so it's bleeding a little bit, so we're gonna just lift it up for the camera and put it back. Isn't that lovely? Bleeding a bit, so I'm going to put I'm put him back. It's a shame about that, isn't it, Tal? Yeah. Switch it off. Wait, no, no, no. film put it back in the water. That's happened loads of times in the past, they're usually alright with that, aren't they? Mm. Got a 
big wide fish in it. It's recorded because of the red lights on the front of the camera. Alright, All right, back at Napton. We've had that 25 the other day and 16 yesterday. Unfortunately, lost two as well because I was using crap rigs. But we've got this 22 6, an old friend. Caught off the top in the early hours. And we're just about to put her back where she belongs. Got another Napton 20 bites of dust. One of many. Cheers for that. No problem. Well, back at, we're at Napton Res today, and uh, I've got a few days off work. I've already had two 20s over the last couple of days. I've had um, a 16 as well, so it's 25, 22, 16. I've lost two fish. I'm using a beach caster rig, conditioned at the moment for late April. It's um, very mild, southwesterly wind, and the fish are actually on this side of the wind. They're, not, they're actually they're not following the wind, at least the fish in front of me. And I've got a beach caster rig on with a boilie just below the surface, and I've just had a 20 pound, 10 ounce fish. So that's two different fish I've had this week, which I've never caught before, which is fantastic, because I've had most of the fish from here. But I'm gonna show you to it, just to the camera, and then we'll, uh, then we'll put it back where she belongs. I didn't want to put it back too early, because um, it takes the other fish with it. So I always keep them in the sack for, a, or wasteling for an hour or so. I think it's beneficial. If they're feeding on the top, you don't really want to put a, a freshly caught fish back because they just take the take the rest of them off. So here we go. Well, for 20 quid a year, well, it goes up to 25 this year. Fishing. I bought a ticket three days ago, four days ago, and I've already had three 20s. So and a 16 pounder, so that's five quid a fish. That's not bad, is it? That lovely. Look at that. 20 pounds, 10 ounces. Napton Reservoir fish. That's stunning, eh? Stunning fish. can't see it from the from the camera but I've got a great big unhooking mat absolutely essential for carp fishing and that's just stunning old fish probably 30 years old looks like an old Lenny strain fish same sort of strain as Redmire but God knows but it's nice enough all right let's put it back 